And this is the first time um, we're hearing the acoustic version of Optimistic, so I'm very excited. Is a love that stays? Love that doesn't treat me that way. It's gotta be better than this. They're capturing those uh, those thoughts that make you question faith as a kid because you're dealing with this stuff that nobody should have to deal with. And then um, I'm a positive person and I believe in hope, and so therefore I kind of try to. Um, bring it, bring it up a little bit at the end. So, uh, so it's called listening. I hope you all enjoy it. We pray all night for Jesus. I was like, for real? God ain't got nothing to do with that. We pray all night, and everything I read is exactly what He said. It got the first thought of my head, boy. I'm praying right. Jesus Christ, so okay. And so that's why we're having healing through the arts because a lot of local artists like myself and all the wonderful artists you see on the stage are survivors. How did you and come up heal. with the idea to have the healing? Um, because I know, because I'm an artist, I know that I have used my um, talents to kind of mask from my past. And as I've started working with the Cassie Project, a lot of people, especially alumni of SCPA, have come to me and say, hey, I'm a survivor. This happened to me and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, wow. And we're also creative. You know, they say creative people are um, mad. We're bipolar. We're blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they do yeah. say that a lot, yeah, really. We are. I think we I mean, are too. <laughs> but that's because it's bottled up emotions, like you're saying. Like, you know, a lot we're of people hiding don't it. know. We're holding and, it inside. Yeah, and this is their way to get out of that This is our way to, to release express it. themselves. And now my desire to Somebody's gone due to domestic violence. 